Hello everyone, this is Crystal. Welcome to Art Intastic, where creativity comes alive. This is a scene that I've visualized in Robert Frost's poem, The Road Not Taken. I tried to bring to life that special road not taken in those magnificent yellow woods as depicted by Robert Frost. And I painted all of this without using a single brush. And today, I'm going to show you the secret of how to do that. What if you could change your canvas from looking like this to this? And I'm going to show you the secret of how to do it. And if you enjoyed it, don't forget to press that like button, subscribe, share the secret and do leave a comment. This time, we'll use a slightly bigger canvas. This one is 8 by 10 inches. We're going to paint our canvas with these five basic colors, mainly greens. And we're going to use these Q-tips. And also, of course, the sponge. You can see I've used it a lot. And my favorite tool, the ice cream stick. It's used a lot. I just wash and reuse it. We're also going to use a touch of orange, a little cadmium yellow, and a dash of red. We'll also use our sponge stick with some burnt umber for the path and the trees. Alright then, so let's begin to load our canvas with all those lovely greens. Remember we don't use a brush, so I'm using the ice cream stick to apply the greens onto the canvas. I just put it wherever I think the greens should be. I'm adding now the lovely light olive green and now for a little yellow ochre. Let's use our sponge. It's loaded with titanium white because right there in the center will be the brightest color. I just dab the sponge onto the canvas and move in an outward circle, mixing the greens together. We're not using a brush, remember, but in spite of that, we've got this gorgeous blend of greens, some incredible texture and a rich background for our forest. Oh, that's nice. Now we take a clean sponge and we just dab it at the edges of the green to give it a softer look. We're trying to get rid of all those hard edges. Just dab it. When we do this, the whole painting gets a softer look. And then you'll notice right there, there's a kind of a glow which looks really lovely. And then we keep dabbing. Just blend everywhere. So you see how easy it is to paint without a brush. Blending has never been easier. And now we'll use our ice cream stick to make some trees. I've used a mixture of brown and black. And I just place the stick and scrape it a little to give the impression of a bark, a tree trunk few more trees, just touch and scrape a little, there, a few more, I love the imperfection, I love the crookedness, that's a slightly larger tree which is nearer to us, and another one right there. Isn't it incredible? With just a little touch of the ice cream stick, a little scrape, a little scratch, we get an old gnarled looking tree, a rough bark and so much rich texture, all without a brush. And that's a larger tree because it's literally right in front of us. We give it a little texture. And then far away, fine lines to suggest distant trees. 
As I paint this, I think about Robert Frost and the two roads that diverged in his yellow wood. Let's paint that little path in the woods. I use my sponge for that, but only initially. We'll add some definition later. And like magic, Frost's woods seem to just jump up and come to life. But we must add more colour now. We take the sponge, a little red, yellow and orange, and just dab those trees. And before you know it, we have great, vibrant foliage. It's starting to look lovely, and we haven't even finished the path yet. Let's add a little colour to those bushes below. You know, this is exactly as I imagined the path to be, the one that Frost chose. And when he says, and sorry, I could not travel both and be one traveller, long I stood and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth. And for that special path, we'll use our foam brush. I've loaded it with a little red and a touch of orange and we just move the brush from side to side to where it gently bends in the undergrowth. Let's give our path some structure with a touch of white and just move it from side to side. Let's add some character to that tree right in front of us. A few scratches and scrapes is all it takes and you get a roughened bark. And again right there. Oh, but there's a white spot. Let's dab it off. And add some foliage maybe. Oh, there. It's well covered up. Let's add a branch now. Right there in front. Use my foam brush for that. And again, some pretty leaves. There. There's so much colour and vibrancy. And now, as I always do, I'm just fussing about and trying to add a little more depth and texture, a little more dimension, a little foliage here and there. You know, just touching it up. And finally, we'll use our Q-tip. I've added a little orange and red, cadmium red, I'm just adding a few highlights, a few blossoms or suggestion of blossoms or fallen leaves, just to add a little dimension to the whole thing. trees just a touch and I think it's just about ready now and there it is the road not taken for me this painting has made Frost's words come to life especially when he says two roads diverged in a wood and I I took the one less traveled by and that has made all the difference. I hope this video encourages you to paint your own dreams. This new year, let your dreams come to life. Thank you for watching and happy painting.